core GPU system renders the scene in about 28 seconds. And that's the kind of rendering power that will really make a difference in a production environment. Like I said, you know, we are talking seconds, right? 28 seconds to get this quality uh, images. Uh, As opposed know. to the weeks, hours, As, years. Weeks, hours, and, you know, <laughs> and, and, and Paul, you've been doing this longer than Too I long. <laughs> I don't even know what SIGGRAPH is <laughs> for me. <laughs> and there, right? Uh, and, and what difference does this kind of acceleration oh, make? This it, is, it allows artists to be more creative, to yeah. produce more iterations for customers. It just opens up a, a yeah. opportunities yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Uh, you know, with uh, the thing in there, right? You've got the labels. <laughs> 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 So can you tell which is SSG which is not SSG? They remove the labels now? Okay. That's, our, that's fully controlled by our AV team. They can do real-time label switching. That's also enabled by SSG. So, okay. What are we looking at here? Okay. You guys can see it, right? So the one on the left is with SSG. I have to see it. There. It's really, really hard to do that. 8, 8K yeah. isn't twice as much as 4K. It's four it's times. It's four times. Four K. Basically, you know, for, the, for them to be able to see, like I said, by the way, Investing in high-end production workflow, right? You know, to do the, the films, and it's it's not it, it's an expensive proposition. Yeah. And you get into it, you need the entire rig to be able to do something smooth. And what they're dealing with is what you had on the on the right side, and what you have on the left. And this is, by the way, literally we took this to Jared and his team three days ago. Yeah. <laughs> three days ago. Okay. And their codec, right, codec is special codec in there, right? So if we had to optimize, we had to get it up and running and all of this stuff. This is what the team did in two days with, uh, yeah. you know, <laughs> with this stuff. We have a lot of work to do uh, with them and we'll optimize the end-to-end -end, uh, production okay. workflow. But yes, so you see, this is a 250 million polygon data set, right? Incredible amount of complexity to load in real time into any workstation, okay? And, uh, and it is being path traced, real-time rendered, and you know, Omar is moving around with this, in this data set. Now, if the studio in India that worked on this, if they are watching this real-time, they'll be crying with joy. Trust me on this. <laughs> they'll be like, what, what did you guys do in this stuff? Right? It's, it's just they, bro they break it up into many small little pieces to work on this. Right? They, they have, I have never seen, and trust me, I know the studio very well, um, they never seen this entire data set loaded on a single workstation. Okay, this is amazing. Now, this is, I showed you a little bit on WX9100, it cost $2,000. Now, the most expensive graphics card you can buy today is a $7,000 graphics card from our competitor. Okay, so you, you, you can, if you have money, you can go buy that card. Now, let, we are trying to load this data set on the $7,000. Let's see what happens. Okay. What do you expect to happen? Uh, I have been seeing this image for years. <laughs> See, that's what high bandwidth cache controller gives you, right? To be able to load this, this, this data set. Now, 